Hello there and welcome back to another episode in our modded series. Today's episode's main focus is going to be food and water. So let's bring back the UI real quick and perhaps we'll stop with the water. Right now the beavers are still finishing a couple of construction projects over here. We've got water, tank, the large one, a farm that will relocate over and I'd really want to put in some more windmills as well. Now back to the water. As the game progresses, the droughts are going to be longer. So there's another one coming in in about 2.9 days. And uh, we are able to keep a little bit of water in here. Actually, why are you all paused? Let's uh, have a couple of you working. Let's see. Uh, yep, okay. We've got two beavers. Great. Fantastic. So back to the water. Um, we can keep a little bit in here. But... It's, it's not going to be enough, so we are going to have to look at some other ways how we can manage that go, uh, going forward. So one of the things we discussed in the last one was we are pretty happy to deepen some of those lakes. So that means we are going to have to climb up there, place some pumps down, and uh, yeah, use some dynamites. So how do we get dynamites? Well, if you go on the landscaping, here they are. But to produce dynamites, we're going to have to build the explosives factory. And that's going to take some planks, which is fine. Gears, a little bit painful, but, uh, you know, 30, we can, we can do. And then uh, 30 metal. So metal, the closest one to us is over here. And I've already put a staircase in, in place as well. So hopefully the beavers will get to it at some point. So we can then uh, build the, if we go into metal tab, the gathering or the scavenger flag. We'll get some metal, but then we have to turn it into... Sorry, we'll scavenge the ruins. We'll get some uh, get some stuff from here, the scrap metal, and then we'll turn turn this scrap metal into metal that can then be used for other construction projects. Now to build this smelter again, blanks. I think we uh, should be fine. We've got quite a few in there, but gears is pretty painful. And then we need 30 uh, scrap metal. Okay, so that's how we're going to get things. Science-wise, we've got quite a few points. And let me just open this as well. Do we have any unemployed? No, we don't. Still a couple of builders here, so that's fine. Uh, yeah, gears. Gears seems to be the bottleneck right now. Power-wise, a little bit is coming through, but that's only going to last... Well, you're bringing in 138, but that's only going to last a few more days until... Another long trout is going to come in. So probably some more wheels, but that's okay. If we have some power outs, then uh, we're, we're fine with that. Uh, right, we'll build some more of this. Next thing, I think uh, another gear workshop will be, will be needed. It is just too slow. We can pause you. We don't need any more planks right now. But I would very much love to have... Uh, what are you going to take? Okay, we have the resources that we need. So let's place another one here for the time being. And how is it going? Okay, so you're going to be the highest of priorities for producing more food right now. We still have yet. Yeah, this building is full, so we'll also need another warehouse, I believe. No, this is for crude potatoes and you're full. Okay, that's uh, actually fine then. What are you storing? Blanks. Okay, gotcha. And we've got a few carrots there as well. So things are okay in on that front. You're also building this, so that's good. We probably could use another builder just to speed things up a little bit. And we've done the levy in here, so that's good. Yep, that is good indeed. At least one thing is done. When it comes to the population, I feel we can increase soon, but I don't want to just yet. And mostly it's it's coming back to water again. I guess we are a little bit worried about losing quite a bit of it. And uh, yeah, we want to keep everything nice and fertile as well. So these areas are a little bit deeper though and we're not growing anything here. So we could potentially have another bump somewhere. Yeah, that's two levels down. And this could be a good spot from yeah this side actually. We could put two in here. Okay, we'll keep that in mind uh building lacks workers okay so you're done now which is great let's have a look you guys are gonna get out and we'll have hopefully two in there yes we are now sweet so i think we wanted to replace this with uh with a couple krills side by side here but that's not 
so important right now. Have you put in any more gears? Okay, so we're just missing one. I guess, do we need the power first? Well, you're already doing that and that's done. Okay, great. Highest priority, next high priority. And are they doing this already as well? Yes, they are. Okay, so you might as well come and construct it. Yep, there we go. We've got a beaver running this way. And now to get metal, let's get one of those scavenger flags. Oh dear. Okay. It's a little far away. However, let's take a look. If we place you down here, this could work. And we can take you out. We'll have a couple of scavenger flags there. And in case we get a spare beaver, then yeah, okay, we'll get to it. Right, so that covers the water, water bit. Now let's talk a little bit about the food as well. So in this playthrough, I'd like to start focusing on their bonuses. Well, hopefully very, very shortly. Ooh, the water tank is ready. Let's not empty it. We can start filling it now. And you know what? Whilst we... Never mind, we are going to lose this water now. Um... How much do we have? Pause, pause. These two buildings can be paused now. Okay, back to food. I am starting to put together a bit of a Google Sheet again, just to look at what sort of things we uh, need, what's the best, and how much space do we need for certain things. So I've got the numbers for pretty much everything. However, there's two things that the game does not seem to provide us with. Oh dear, 10 days? Oh, so that means if we bump any water out from here, this is going to become dry. Bit of an emergency. Right. We can do... Is that the best way we can do it? I doubt it for some reason. Let's have another look. One here. Oh, we could do another one here, but we just need some... Hmm. Oh, well. Two is going to be fine for now. And where shall we cross over? Just about here is probably okay. We'll grab, no, there's the platform we need. Highest of priorities, please, and the road over. There we go, please do not bump out. Well, it's still flowing out, I think it is. Yeah, it is. As soon as the waterfall stops, then we'll know to stop bumping out the water as well. Okay, can we have one second? Yep, we've got a beaver here. And we will also employ a couple over there, just for the time being. I would like to not put water in these tiny ones, and we'll empty it as soon as we have some beavers that are, uh, that are free. Okay, top waterfall has already stopped. It's only a matter of time until the lower one does the same. Here we go, okay. So let's not bump out any more water from these locations. We'll get you to build. You've already found another place to work at. Uh, okay. Fine. We've got one there. Not really sure where the last one went, but you can work in this bump. That's gonna be handy. Oh, that, that that's where... Uh, so this is where all our beavers have been. Don't get me wrong, it's great. We've got a hauling post, they're going to be very helpful. But, um, yeah, I thought we had, like, more. Anyways, they're going to carry it over. It's a little inefficient right now, but it's going to get us through this long drought. Cool, so coming back to the food, I know I got a little sidetracked over there. So I've basically got numbers for everything. The only thing I don't have numbers for is the maple syrup and the chestnuts. So what the game tells us here is how long does it take for those trees to grow. So maples is 30 days and chestnut tree is 24. However, when hovering over here, it doesn't actually tell us how long does it take for, uh, for the syrup to form and the, uh, the chestnuts to grow. And even on clicking on trees, it only tells us, let's grab one of those, the progress. Same with chestnut trees, it shows us the progress, but I doubt it's 24 days. It's, those numbers are moving way too fast. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so if any of you know the exact numbers, how long it takes to grow for them, then do please let me know. I would love to have them and I'll be very grateful. So then we could draw some conclusions from that and 
kind of plan out how we do our farms as well. I mean, in some ways, it's not like we're limited by space on this map. We also have beehives, so we don't have to go too crazy. But I was just thinking, hey, that might be handy perhaps for someone else that may watch this video. Uh, well, hopefully before the next update, because once the next update comes through, then those numbers are probably going to be off as well. But I'll uh, try and keep them up to date, I guess. Anyways, okay, so that's the progress. We are scrapping some metal from there. We've got a little bit in. Next step. How's our power looking right now? Nothing. Dear. Okay, getting this wheel. We shall do another hamster wheel just like so over there. And um, I know we want a paper as well, but we'll have to kind of figure this stuff out here. Do we have any more spare gears? Yes, we do. So how about we fix this up a little bit? Oh, we can also do another windmill. You take paper, paper we don't have. So let's have you in there and pray that the wind will come back soon. Okay. Cool, so that's going... What were we doing? We were trying to get some metal, so smelter is needed. 20 gears, oh dear. Okay, how many points is it? 300, we've got the points. And you're massive, aren't you? Okay, well, I guess this location makes sense here. Yeah, I'll place you down here. Let's pause you for a second. And the next uh, fun part will be how are we going to power you up. I guess we could go through here. Let the beavers climb over if they need to get there. But we could also build another bridge over here. So whatever is easier will do. Okay, what are you guys building now? There's three of you there. How about we give you another person just to help out a little bit. Wheel is spinning. Can you please do that as well? Actually, never mind. We've got some power coming through. Supply for 42 tier. Getting that gear workshop right now. We need those gears. Sweet. So that's going. Are we producing water as well? You are being prioritized, right? Yeah. Now how much are you able to carry? 20 out of 23. Okay, so that's actually pretty good. Yep. Uh, wait a second. Pumping this water, we are still going to have the same result. Yep. I'm glad we spotted that because... Oh dear, okay, landscaping dams, but that's going to slow down the flow, actually it does not matter. Wait, we do have a dam here, don't we? Hold up. Yep. Ooh. Okay, we're not lost. Uh, that gave me a bit of a scare, but it seems we are okay. False alert. Right, so uh, let's uh, let's see, what can we... Where are we with things? Scrap is coming in. Let's keep that rolling then. Blanks. Ooh, that's going down a little bit quicker now. Power we got low. Could take us... Mm, spare beaver. Produce some more blanks. Let's keep an eye on this. I think we might be okay, perhaps. Uh, building lacks workers. What happened here? Oh, okay. So you're built. Uh, let's... Uh, actually, never mind. We don't need you to there. We've got enough power. Yes, we do. Okay, so that's good. How about we start building you? Yep. Let's build you. And with the access couple... Mm, let's change it up. We're going to cross from here. Are we going to need to cross it this in the future? Probably when we are building some more of those windmills. Uh, okay, yep. And small platforms. We've got the resources, so you should be okay. Well, oh. There we go. Uh, right, so you're constructing this one already as well, which is great. One spare beaver, but that's okay. We'll keep you spare. Water, how's water doing? Well, hopefully it's gonna be good enough. Uh, yeah. Smelter, how we started bringing anything in here? No, we have not. So how about actually we put the spare beaver in the blank section because that's going to take 50 and that's all of our stock right now. So we will have an extra beaver just to help with our progression very slowly. 
what we'll also need to do is how many points do we need for those so that's going to take a thousand already metal we are going to slowly produce that takes 200 hamster power Ooh. okay well but we do have another windmill in place so that's good now with this section here that's going to be for a another windmill Ooh, almost a thousand well that's great wind's really picked up and seems we are bringing resources in here now as well oh that's all of our planks gone did we open yes we did open another one we had one more beaver that could be handy let's take a couple of you out for the time being and yep water seems to be holding up pretty nicely as well so that's good and we're 6.2 days through that drought um uh, okay things are going pretty swimmingly now, another thing, whilst we are waiting for this to complete here, which is almost there, I have once again done a little bit of thinking before I started this episode. So I had a look around the map and uh, I think we're almost at the time. Perhaps even in the next episode, we could already... Well, I already want to start putting in things where we would like to keep them for, for a long time. And I was looking at this area over here, which seems pretty interesting to me at least so let me just slow it down a little bit uh, we've got a mine up here and uh, for sure this is going to be our metal production area then uh, just up here what i really liked in the folktale series were those cliffside apartments so i would love to bring those back in here as well so this is kind of like uh, uh what the folktale adventure explorer beavers brought over some of those designs into this colony as well so this would be a lovely little area so beavers would be living here there's a nice hopefully just uh, uh bear with me there's a nice one day a river flowing through this area some of those beavers will be working in those mines and with those mines if we have a quick look uh, we have the folktale mine which uh, is okay but the brilliant mines, scientific mines that came from the Iron Teeth, bring us the efficient mine, which, uh, you know, if we use uh, one gear, treated blank, and a dynamite, gives us six scrap metal. I don't know if we're going to need that much, but it could be cool. So we could use the efficient mine over here, have a few production areas, some windmills, and I'd really like to also turn this a bit more green. So there's two things. I was thinking like the Folkdale mine could be more that uh, isn't very environmentally friendly. And this this is why this area looks the way it looks right now. Whereas with the Iron Teeth one, once we place this in, we could channel some of that water along the cliffs over here. I know we didn't want to damage the environment too much, but this could be something interesting. So we could bring this channel, maybe just one tile na uh, narrow or wide, bring it around here very carefully which should also hopefully make some of those areas a bit more green. I know we could do the water dump trick, but that just seems a little bit too boring. I think it would be much more interesting to carve this um, waterway through and around. So therefore, the efficient mine is also a bit more environmentally friendly. So less noise pollution, less environmental pollution and all that. We could have some windmills, some trees growing along the cliffs here as well. And then the beavers that live here... They've got their workplaces, we've got something that produces the dynamites, then some gears and treated blanks. Everything in a localized location here, so they don't have to run too far to pick up things. Right, so housing here, workplaces here, let me just speed up time now because it's night time. And we had the river, we'll have some fun stuff here for them to do, some leisure stuff. Then on this side of this little stream, we'll definitely connect them up as well, because that just seems very logical to do. And uh, around this area here, this is what I'm thinking um, could be very nice for food production. So their work, food, fun is going to be just around them. And this is also actually, because it's so low, maybe we don't deepen this area and have some of the cattail and the, what was the other one called, the spatter dog. Uh, in um, growing in here some farms some maple syrup some chestnuts 
and things like this just growing very close to us and then we'll produce it locally as well yeah so that's what my thoughts are for this small area in here construction lacks materials of course it's gonna be gears yep absolutely but we're also um, getting some cattail now it seems and spatter talk interesting but we're not gonna produce or shall we you know what why not let's do it let's uh let's build another food grill uh we could do two here let's go actually into decorations and because you give aesthetics bonus let's put a shrub just over there we got the log so not to worry about that two unemployed so that's great you can go and work in the grill actually how much range do you have not too much yep let's do the grill right here and then we're getting the bonus there as well which is good i think we can delete the small water tanks for now in the future we can build another bigger one right up there sweet oh we are done well 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 i think it's a good time how shall we go around this is a little awkward here yeah i don't like this so let's get rid of you gears painful but it's fine I think I'd like to just go straight through. Yep, let's do that. And we'll probably just tell you to get it done as quick as you can. So that way we can start making some metal as well. How much power are you taking? 200. Well, we got some. I think blanks are looking fine now. So we can pause one of them. No recipe selected. Uh, how about we do some grill? We Do we have chestnuts? Yes, we do. Okay. Great. So you can start cooking up some grilled chestnuts for us. And there we go. What sort of bonus did you give us? If we just check you real quick. Strength plus 10%. Beautiful. Okay. Are we now... It needs power. Oh, you're just doing the last link. We have the power now. And voila. We are producing... Oh, there goes water. Just in this section. Okay, that's fine. We still have water in here. And the drought is only 2.5 days, so we'll be fine. Right, metal any second. Now we should see a little bit in there. Beautiful. First one in the bank. Landscaping. Time to unlock explosives factory. And I think most likely... We don't need to go too f quick about it. I think it would be cool to also place them up there, but... Roads is gonna be yeah let's um let's pause it and place you down and we'll do another one of those beautiful windmills how is this gonna look we'll pause you and then through okay so a couple could go here and then we just have to figure out how to connect them but i think with that it should not be a problem because we can do something like this okay and these two and the same will happen there. Uh, I think we'll unlink it once the wind speed drops just a little bit. Which is now. Okay. Great. You wait with this one. Delete you. And we'll have the four-way junction just over there. Could do a D junction. But just in case we will need to pull it elsewhere in the future. Highest priority for you please. Get this done. And we are beautiful okay have you harvested all the chestnuts no you haven't i believe we've just harvested it and it's already at 20 percent. so that seems to be going up pretty quickly things are starting to look pretty promising i think the next thing we wanted was paper right yeah we can't produce dynamites unless we have paper but that also means we need power to connect you up uh a little tricky over there how about we do it the easy way? Platforms and paper mill. Yep, that should do. It should work. And you can get out of here. Are you done with those platforms? No, there's still one more. Okay, good. That is okay indeed. Now, how are we looking overall? Quite a bit of scrap metal. Going in. Metal blocks. We've got six in the bank. Uh, wait, we're not building it because it's paused. How many gears do we have? Uh, do you know what? Start building it. It's okay. Are oh, you taking gears as well? Uh, what do we want first? 
I guess it doesn't matter. Now you're gonna need paper, so paper needs to be completed first. Drought has finally ended, which means we no longer need to empty or collect water from there. Let's open up you again. And okay, things are looking pretty good, and I think it's a pretty good time to pause the episode in this one as well. So I've drawn a few ideas at you. Let me know what you think about this build sort of uh, idea in here. And uh, now that we finally have uh, the smelter and we're making metal, we shall be making explosives in the next episode. And we'll try and climb up here as well to start deepening this area a little bit. Okay, so yeah, that's going to be the end of this episode then. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you again in the next one.